Uh, what's the latest uh, update with the injuries, Ella? Well, I'm going to do my best to put in 100%, and um, I'm on some heavy-duty drugs right now, which hoping that won't affect my conditioning too much, but even if they do, I've come this far, and you know, I've, you have to climb so many mountains to get on to the stage, and I'm, I'm not going to give up yet, so I'm going to get on stage and uh, push through. Any limitations in your posing routine? You're not to switch up because of the neck? Um, well, actually, I'm just not moving it right now, and I'm just going to um, knock on knock on wood <laughs> that um, by tomorrow I'll be able to move around and adrenaline will kick in and, and I'll be okay. I've come this far. It's my first Olympia. I'm really excited mm -hmm. to be here. And I'm just I'm going to get out there and do it and have some fun. There's a few names, big names that aren't here. Obviously, the top three everybody's been talking about yeah. the past week or two. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel? You think that gives you an opportunity with only 11 people in the lineup you can sneak into that top six maybe um, first time out you know I, I, I originally thought so you know that's my plan my plan is always to be better than the previous show and um, get better every year and hopefully um, replace some of the names that mm -hmm. have left that I've respected and admired for years I was actually disappointed to see them go though because Lisa Auckland is uh, one of my big favorites and mm -hmm. um, Heather's got a beautiful physique, so I would have enjoyed competing against them, but that said, if they're gone, I wish them well, and hope they enjoy watching the show, and maybe I can, despite the obstacles I'm having, maybe I can sneak in there. What do you feel? A lot of people are saying that uh, you have a good shot to really surprise a lot of people here, to maybe be that one name going into the show to come out. I know you want to say the dark horse. No, I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> We're avoiding that term. <laughs> I'm not one to like, toot my own horn or anything, I, especially because as, like just what happened with my neck, I mean these things happen at the last minute and mm -hmm. you don't always know that they're going to happen. So um, you know, coming into the show, I was definitely hoping that I would surprise somebody, uh, some, some people in the audience with my conditioning and shape. I'm working with George this year, George Vera. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this year I've had my best conditioning, best improvements. So let's just cross our fingers that um, that the, the injury hasn't uh, negated those uh, qualities that I've worked hard for. Great, best of luck to you. Thank the uh, lineup is a lot thinner this year. You have only 11 competitors in the Miss Olympia, uh, minus the three names that were originally qualified but aren't going to make it. Uh, how do you feel about those women not being here? Do you feel it opens up the field a little better? I feel really good, and I'm number 11, but that uh, mean maybe it's the number one this uh -huh. year. So I'm coming in really good condition and I did my best, so I'm ready to win. And um, at the Arnold, I felt that you should have had that one. They gave it to Iris. What do you feel? Do you feel that you uh, you peaked earlier in the year or this is your time that you're going to be peaking now? I think now is my time. So it's, uh, uh, Iris is a great athlete, and, but we have different lines, totally uh -huh. different lines. So it's, uh, let's see what, what can the judge is looking for this year. A year ago, Heather Ambrose finished in second. This year, she's not competing. Uh, what do you, Heather Ambrose oh, Heather. finished in second. And now she's not. She was injured at the Arnold. Now she's not competing uh, at the Olympia. Do you feel that if she would have competed, that was a pride for me. But um, um, she's a great, you know, contender. But I don't know. Something happened with her so uh -huh. many times. So I don't know. Maybe she needs some rest and focus a little bit more. Do you think she could have unseated Iris if she was here? Iris and me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only Iris. <laughs> yeah. And what's the next show for you after this? Arnold? Arnold. Nothing Arnold. in between? Nothing in between. No. Okay. Just rest a little bit and uh, go into the Arnold. Great. Good luck tomorrow. Okay. Debbie, what do you feel? You got a uh, 11 competitors in the uh, show this year, a lot less than it's been in the past. Do you feel that's an advantage that you can definitely get up there on the, uh, in the lineup with uh, only 11 people up there? Um. I really am not concerned whether it was 11 or 15. Uh -huh. um, I'm in the best shape of my life and my physique and everything I've done to make changes. So I'm not thinking about any of my competitors. I'm just thinking about the number one spot. Mm -hmm. That's really what I'm doing. So it doesn't, and, I'm not looking at it as an advantage because I think my advantage has come with what I've done as my preparation. And you, you're definitely one of the favorites to be uh, to be up there in the top three. What is it going to take to unseat somebody like Iris Kyle? I think tomorrow we're going to see because I did a <laughs> lot of homework. And uh -huh. I made my, my quads, everything is bigger, my physique structure, way bigger. I'm probably about, since last year's Olympia, seven pounds. Mm -hmm. And about four weeks ago, I was already in shape for the show. So what I did differently is I ate up to the show, increased all my food, and I had a bigger, fuller, shredded physique than I've ever had.
what's your body weight going to be going into about 147. And what's, uh, what, what's your off-season? 147, 158. Okay, so you cut down 10 plus pounds. Yeah. yeah. And uh, after this, it's the Arnold or anything in between? Just oh, no, Arnold. Arnold. I just want to stick to the Arnold the Olympia. Yeah, that's a lot right there. Yeah. Especially since every show I want to improve and make, and make, and make changes. I need that time. Uh-huh. Great. Good luck tomorrow.